Yeah, what's up? How's your day going? Yeah, not too bad, man. How you been? Can't get any better, man. Yeah. Just killing it right now. About to get again a promotion, going out with Shay next week. Gonna go golfing. Doing real well in sales. How do you get Shay to like? He doesn't like anybody. Man, selling those CDOs, man. Get up, selling like hotcakes right now. How are you getting those out the door? AAA rated, government backed, with no safer investment than that. A AAA rating, how'd you get that? My guy, got a guy at Moody's. There you go, I gotta get in on that. You gotta get in right now. It's getting hot. I think I will. All right. Hey buddy, how you doing? Good, good. How's things at uh, Mount Vernon First Savings? Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, I know, Reed's gotta go. End of the season, will be gone. Yeah, so, um, you get a chance, you wanna come in and talk, I'd like to talk to you about. All right, buddy, sounds good. See you then. This scene is related to output controls becoming more important than input controls. This is when greed can come into play and take over employees' values and become the norm. The organizational culture of Fannie Mae is created by values and norms which help their competitive advantage. This also creates a positive culture which motivates and energizes employees. This makes employees feel like they are part of a larger, meaningful community attempting to accomplish important things. When employees are motivated this way, close monitoring and supervision are less needed. This can cause employees to place more importance on a certain set of inputs or outputs. Hey, what's hey, going on? Thanks for coming in. Yeah, no problem. How you been? Not too bad. How are you? I'm all right, man. I can't come in. So what's going on? Why'd you call me in? Um, just letting you know. Uh, any mortgage that comes to your bank, feel free to lend one to them. Um, any any mortgage, yeah. Doesn't take much. We're gonna buy them up for you. You're not gonna get as much of a return on them, but we're AAA backed. To I mean, we're, we're, we're talking like people give me the W two. Don't need it. No credit score, like, no? Nope. All right, well, someone came in today and they gave me, they actually showed me the W-2. I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, that's terrible. I mean, you're telling me this will work? Absolutely. Really? That's great. Let them. I mean, regardless, listen, it's a win-win. We're both making money. All right, we're taking the risk, the fall risk away from you. You're government backed. It's a win-win. I'm all for it. Sounds good, man. All right, thanks for calling me in. Yep. This provides how not only Fannie Mae employees focus on output controls, other financial industry employees saw an opportunity to make business with a government-backed agency and took action. Hi, I'm interested in getting a home mortgage loan. I was wondering if I could come in and meet with you sometime. Um, what would I need to bring in? Wait, so I don't need no, like, no documents. Really? Okay. Yeah, I'd like to schedule an appointment. All right, great. I'll see you then. Thanks. Hi, Mike. Hey. Yeah. What's going on? Good. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Sorry, I'm running a little bit late today. It's all right. It happens. It happens. So what's going on? Why are you worried? What brings you in today? Well, I was wondering what the process was for me to get a home mortgage loan. Alright, so you're looking to buy a house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can have this house I'm interested in. It's like four fifty, you know, four fifty. Four hundred fifty thousand dollars, yeah. yeah. Alright, uh let me check this out for a little bit. Um, Alright, so four hundred and fifty thousand dollars, you're looking at to buy a house for four hundred fifty thousand. Alright, I just need to know a couple things right now. Um <laughs> Do you have a job right now? You have a steady amount of income coming in? I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm working here and there, you know, getting my hours in, like minimum wage. Minimum wage, all right. Um, all right. Uh, so, what's your credit score? That's the same thing, you know. Uh, well, you know, I'm not really. Not sure. sure. It's all right. Yeah, we can easily figure it out. We can easily figure it out. Listen, there is, like, right now it's looking like you probably would not be able to afford that, but at the same time, listen, there's a lot of ways to work around this. So you can refinance easily. Right. So listen, I'm going to work on this for a, about a week or so and I'll get back to you, but right now it's looking like you would definitely make this happen. Nice, nice. So you can be a house owner. That's what you want to see happen. Yeah. All right. 
So yeah. congratulations. Man. Thank you. Thank you. All right. This scene demonstrates on a small scale how many of the mortgages Fannie Mae were receiving were from home buyers who had no business receiving a mortgage in the first place, thus raising the potential default risk of the loan. What's up, man? How's business? It's going good, man. Uh, I got my guy out in Malvern. He's got about 300 mortgages out the door this past month. So, uh, I guess next steps, group them up and get them out of our doors. But they, do you think they're uh, legitimate mortgages for the most part? Uh, not really. There's a lot that are suspect. That's completely fine. See, what I like to do, and this is what Fannie Mae, this is what Shay actually told me. You group all of the, uh, the mortgages together, and you put this, there's gonna be, most of them are gonna be suspect. You put the suspect ones with some, some legitimate ones to get that AAA rating and they're out the door. Who are we gonna sell them to? Ooh. Actually, I got pension funds. Great business. Uh, I got a guy at the, uh, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania uh, Teachers Association, and that might be able to help you out. Nice. Definitely. I'll give him a call. Hopefully we can get him off our hands. Yeah. Hopefully Shay will be taking you out next week. If I'm lucky. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? This is Matt from Fannie Mac. Um, I understand you're interested in possibly investing in some CDOs from us for your uh, Pennsylvania State Union's pension fund. Yeah, great. Uh, we'd love to work something out. Yeah, the AAA rated, safe, government backed, and I know that's what you're interested in. Okay, great. Uh, we'll send over some paperwork and we'll be in touch soon. Thanks, have a great day. This scene shows how pension funds, who are some of Fannie Mae's biggest consumers, felt comfortable purchasing mortgage-backed securities from Fannie Mae because they were AAA rated, which is a requirement of most pension fund investments. These funds also took these securities, which actually had a lower interest rate because they felt comfortable doing business with a company which was government-backed, increasing the buyer's willingness to pay. supposed to refinance my house. I've done it so many times. I can't pay these bills anymore. Oh boy. Hello. Yeah, yeah. I understand you're mad. But I gotta get I gotta get paid from the bank and there's a lot of people that aren't making their payments. Yeah. Well when I get them and I say default, then they're gonna go to you. It's the economy. People don't have work, they don't have jobs. Alright. I know you don't mean that. Okay. Bye. What's going on, man? I just got off the phone with the pension guy. He's looking for money. I got nothing for him. If I can get any money, it's over. What do you mean it's over? Everyone's defaulting their loans. Payments aren't going to come. I'm sitting on 300 of these things. They're useless. Well, what are we going to do now? What? Well, I know one thing for sure. We're not going to be golfing. This final scene demonstrates how the organizational culture of Fannie Mae was detrimental not only to their own success, but lost others a significant amount of capital in the process. Fannie Mae's focus on increased sales of mortgage-backed securities while ignoring the risk of the owners of these mortgages defaulting on their loans ceased the flow of cash to all parties involved. Fannie Mae's errors not only cost themselves $16.9 billion, but cost those who purchased the mortgage-backed securities from Fannie Mae.